Question 4. Which diagram best represents the graph y equals x times 1 minus x all cubed times 3 minus x all squared? The graph is of a polynomial function expressed in factored form and has three zeros. The zero at x equals zero has multiplicity one, and the behavior of the curve around x equals zero resembles the graph of a linear function. The zero at x equals one has multiplicity three, and the behavior of the curve around x equals one resembles the graph of a cubic function. The zero at x equals three has multiplicity two, and the behavior of the curve around x equals 3 resembles the graph of a quadratic function, or a parabola. Based on the above information, the only viable options are C and D. Option C shows the graph above the x-axis between x equals 1 and x equals 3. Option D shows the graph below the x-axis between x equals 1 and x equals 3. To determine which option is correct, Choose a suitable value of x between x equals 1 and x equals 3 and test the sign of the polynomial at that value. So in this case, we're going to choose x equals 2. The value of the polynomial at x equals 2 is 2 times 1 minus 2 all cubed times 3 minus 2 all squared, which equals negative 2. Hence, the graph is below the x-axis between x equals 1 and x equals 3. Alternatively, determine the behavior of the graph for a large value of x. For example, x equals 10 and test whether the graph is below or above the x-axis beyond x equals 3. In this case, 10 times 1 minus 10 all cubed times 3 minus 10 all squared is negative. Hence, the graph is below the x-axis beyond x equals 3. Therefore, the correct answer is option D.